How's it going guys? In order to celebrate the Red Wings on their 25th straight year in the playoffs, I wanted to make something that was special. So I made this Red Wing, Red Wing picture frame and it's just got Hockey Town on the top, 1991 to 2016 on the bottom, and two and a five on each side with my uh, some of my favorite players in here, Dead Zoo, Cromwell, Zetterberg, Applicator, and Smith. So if you guys want to see how to make this frame, stay tuned and I'll show you how. So we're in easel and I have all four of my frame pieces designed right here. They're all laid out on a three quarter inch piece of just regular pine. Then I have another tab open which has my quarter inch numbers that I'm going to be cutting out. And every time I do separate thicknesses, I always make different tabs for each different thickness of wood. So all these are the same. So I have my design here, the depth's all set, everything's set to carve. So I just go to carve. And then I just go ahead and start carving. And once I start carving, it's gonna carve out all the three quarter inch pieces. And once I'm done carving those, I go to my other tab and I just switch out the material I'm using to quarter inch. And then I can go ahead and start that carve. So let's go ahead and start the three quarter inch piece carves and hopefully it all goes well. So uh, even though it says the current bit is too large, I'm gonna be carving it out anyway because I don't see any like major things that should be an issue. So hopefully I get a good carve and let's go ahead and start carving. So here's the general idea of what it's going to look like. It has the two and the five on each side and these are basically going to be inset a little bit and I just have to push them all the way back so they don't tip over right now but then we have Hockey Town on top 1991 to 2016 which is the 25 years and then on the inside I'm going to have a picture. Now before I glue all this together or start painting different parts I need to make a groove in the back of these outside pieces so that I can actually put my picture and the glass and all that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that over at my router table. And I'm gonna fill the inside of these numbers with some white paint so that it stands out when I paint the rest of the frame black.
So for this, I'm actually gonna be using a roller to apply it so that hopefully it just goes right across the top and doesn't get down into the white areas. But um, we'll see how it goes. So I messed up part of my hockey area right here and down here looks pretty good. I got a few pieces of splatter so maybe I'll try to go back in and fill in some white but um, I mean overall it's kind of hard to do. I mean I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So I went back with some white paint and I tried to touch up some of the parts where I got a lot of splatter and now I can go ahead and attach my two and my five with epoxy and this is just two part epoxy so when you mix it together it gets tacky, it heats up a little bit and then you can go ahead and glue it on and that should be able to bond the paint to the other paint so I don't think that should be an issue. If you try to use wood glue you might not get that uh, solid um, bond between the two so epoxy will definitely hold it and it sets up really quick. So here's the final project. I think it came out pretty cool. I like the Hockey Town and the 1991 lettering on it. I think it really pulls out with the white and black contrast. And then I really like the two and the five on each side. And I like how that's set in. I'm not really sure how I would do this without using my CNC machine. So that's why I used it for this project. If you're new to my channel, I try not to do CNC projects every week. I, I really try to just do them every once in a blue moon. So um, usually I do handmade projects. But um, that's about it for this project, guys. I think it came out really good. If you think so too, please give it a thumbs up and help show your support by subscribing. I try to post new woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. And that's about it for this project. Let's go Red Wings, and I'll see you guys next week with another woodworking project.